opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Cxd5 opens up the center, after black recaptures with nxd5, white is prepared to answer with e2-e4. Nxd5 recaptures the d5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. e4 takes full control of the center and attacks the knight on d5. Nxc3 trades the attacked knight, and gives white a large center that black will attempt to attack. Bxc3 recaptures the knight and supports the d4 pawn. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. c5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn, if white captures the c5 pawn then black can reply with bxc3+, plus, winning the exchange. bb5 gives a check, develops the bishop and prepares to castle. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This threatens to add pressure on a pinned knight. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Takes back. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to kick a knight. This adds pressure by pinning a knight. This threatens to win a pawn. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a miss. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Takes back. It is excellent. That was a free pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is excellent. That pawn was free for the taking. It is good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This evades the check from the pawn. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This ignores a better way to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to move a rook to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. This promotes a pawn to a queen. It is best. Recaptures. 
It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. Very precise. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.